Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, operator precedence parsing. In our previous classes, we already discussed about LL1, LR of top down and bottom up approaches. Uh, please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, operator precedence parsing is a bottom up uh, parsing technique. Uh, it works for ambiguous grammar also in our last classes when we discussed about ll1 lr1 all those techniques they work only for unambiguous grammars but for uh, operator precedence parsing this works for ambiguous grammars so, but we, we should have some conditions for operator precedence parsing grammar conditions for opp operator precedence parsing the right side there should not be any epsilon in our grammar and in the right side second condition there should not be two adjacent non terminals at right hand side in our grammar a tends to bd two adjacent non terminals should not be there then only we can use this type of if if it is there we cannot use it as operator precedence parsing grammar for a operator precedence parsing so these conditions should be followed and one more important point you have to understand we will follow some conditions we will uh, we'll explain you some uh, concepts uh, you will get clarity about all these concepts uh, at the end when we are doing the example until then just follow the conditions you will get clarity at the end uh, when we are doing the example so in the operator precedence parsing there are few relations which we use in our operator precedence parsing so the relations are greater than less than and equal to so what's this relations you will understand step by step by taking an example assume that we are doing a operator precedence parsing for our in order to identify the expressions a plus b star c is an expression for that we are constructing a operator precedence parsing so the conditions which we already discussed in our previous classes when we are discussing about uh, if you want to identify the expressions we need we need to follow few conditions uh, precedence should be followed plus uh, is having uh, less precedence when compared to star so in our operator precedence parsing uh, plus less than star that is the relation we are going to use less than means precedence wise it is less star greater than plus so this is left hand side symbol this is right hand side symbol star is having highest precedence greater uh, greater precedence when compared to the plus that is what the meaning of uh, if you see star greater than plus means uh, we are compare our operator precedence parsing relations we are using uh, and next one is if you want to maintain the associative see what happens what relations we are going to use uh, a plus b plus c plus c is having equal precedence whenever you are having equal precedence in our language we are following left associative so left associative means a plus b should be done first then it should be done with the result will be added with c this is how the expression has to be evaluated so plus plus this plus goes to this this one a plus b in between we are having plus this is the plus belongs to this uh, this expression a plus b this plus belongs to the next next plus in our expression so whenever you see plus plus so in order to maintain associative left associative for whom you have to give highest precedence this one should be given highest precedence that's why we are providing plus greater than plus because we are following left association if you follow right associativity then for whom you have to give highest precedence this plus should be given highest precedence for right associativity b plus c should be done so plus 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 less than plus if you follow right associative conditions according to your need we have to assign these relationships so why we are assigning these relationships what's the use of these relationships you'll get clarity when we discuss about the example and now coming to that before going into the example how we parse the input string and get the acceptance of the input string before that we have to create operator precedence parsing table how we do that according to our requirements we have to do that assume that this is the par uh, this is the grammar which we are using e tends to e plus e e star e id 
this is a ambiguous grammar for this if you want to use this grammar to identify the expressions in your programming language we, we are defining a parsing table so plus is having less precedence when compared to the star star is having highest precedence whatever the operators that present in our in our expressions we are having plus and star out of these two which is having the highest precedence star after that plus but here one more point you have to remember id is given highest precedence and dollar is given the least precedence id means identifier is given highest precedence after that the next precedence is star is given after that next precedence is plus is given least precedence is dollar so for the input string we will add dollar symbol you know why we are adding this dollar symbol we discussed it many times previously we are not explaining it again so using this terminal symbols we have to construct this parsing table so why we have given id highest precedence you will get clarity when we come here see here id id blank blank means there is a mistake in your input string if you see id id there is a mistake in your input string why because id id according to our grammar there is no possibility of getting id id side by side what's our grammar says e plus e or e star e or id id plus id id star id you may get you you never get id id if you if your input is like this x y plus z id id x is an identifier y is an identifier plus z is an identifier according to our grammar is there any possibility to get a x y side by side no that's why id id is a mistake in our parsing when you are doing parsing means identifying whether the given input string is uh, accepted or not so uh, if you find id id means it's a mistake id is given highest precedence that's why id plus if you encounter id plus id is having greater symbol id plus so this is the first uh, symbol this is the second symbol this symbol is having highest precedence that's why greater than id star is having greater than id dollar is having greater than similarly plus id which one is having highest precedence id is having highest precedence so that's why plus is less when compared to id plus is uh, plus plus which for which condition we are following here left associative that's why we have given this is first plus this is second plus so that's why this plus is having highest precedence when compared to the second plus that's why greater than symbol plus a star which one is having highest precedence star is having that's why plus less than star plus a dollar dollar is having least precedence that's why plus is given greater plus greater than dollar similarly star is having highest precedence and then id no so star less than id star greater than plus star greater than star why left associative star greater than dollar if it is right, right associative what you place here star less than star okay dollar is having least precedence so less than less than less than if you see dollar dollar accepted accepted by using this table how we constructed this table according to our requirement uh, in our programming language uh, we have constructed this uh. so you will get clarity about this table also by taking the example Be uh, after that you will definitely get the clarity so uh, so how to parse the input string in the operator precedence parsing uh, we will take a stack symbol stack uh, we will take an empty stack uh, in that stack the first input symbol is a uh, dollar will be added and the input string is given as id plus id star id dollar is added at the end of the input string uh, so using this parsing table we are having two conditions so first we are going to check dollar id according to our table dollar id what what's it saying less than whenever your your precedence table shows that it is less than or equal to we need to shift that is the first condition you have to check the stack symbol with input symbol from our precedence table if the stack symbol and input symbol has been seen dollar id here it is showing less than less than or equal to what action we have to do we have to shift if it is greater than symbol 
we have to reduce it why we are reducing it because it is a, doing a bottom up approach we need to reduce the reduce the value we'll, uh, okay dollar id what it says less than symbol so shift we are getting id in onto the stack id plus id plus greater than symbol means what we have to do we have to reduce we need we need to do reduce action what redu reduction we have to do id has been reduced to e now you will understand the point why id has given a highest precedence when compared to the remaining ones see id plus whenever you see id plus what's our grammar says e tends to e plus e e tends to e star e id whenever you see id plus means before getting plus into the stack first you have to reduce this otherwise you never find this e star e e plus e according to our grammar uh, it's saying that if you want to identify e plus e if you want to identify e star e first id has to be reduced to e then only you can take the next actions e plus e so id has to be reduced to e in order to ex ex in order to get that that's why id is given highest precedence so whenever id is checked with plus it has first id has to be reduced whenever id checked with star first id has to be reduced because it's related to our grammar the grammar which we have chosen based on that we are writing this table so that is the point you have to understand id plus so before getting it into the stack first reduce it that's why it is given highest precedence because what's the our condition if it is greater than then we will do reduce action otherwise we will do shift action based on that we have written this so greater than reduced so e for if in your stack if you are having a non terminal forget about it so dollar plus dollar plus less than symbol means plus should be come into the stack plus will be coming into the plus id plus id less than symbol plus id means less than symbol what we have to do what action we have to do shift action has to be done id is passed here id star before getting star into that what we have to do we need to reduce action that's why it is given highest precedence so id has to be reduced id star means greater than so reduce e tends to id this id is reduced to e so forget about non terminal plus star so here we are giving so from the second important point you have to understand e plus e has been identified from our grammar e plus e can be reduced to e but we are not doing this action here because we are comparing plus with star if plus is having highest precedence we will go with here we are going to have greater than symbol we are going to reduce this but in our example plus is given less precedence when compared to star so that's why we are having less uh, less than operator less than means shift means we are not going to reduce e plus e because next operator we have seen is star operator it has to be given highest precedence means uh, first star should be completed then plus we have to come to plus that is what our our uh, our programming language conditions we made that conditions according to our conditions we made this table that's that is the point you have to understand so e plus e star so star is sent into the stack star id which is having highest precedent i id star less than id less than symbol is there so shift action will be id is passed into that e star id dollar now you will understand why dollar because before you you had seen dollar means end of input you have to reduce all the input if you want to reduce it this should be less symbol otherwise we don't reduce that is the conditions we made in our operator precedence parsing if this is less than this if this is greater than dollar symbol reduce action greater than reduce action greater than reduce action whenever you see dollar keeps on reducing reduce the entire input 
that's why we have given dollar least precedence so id id is reduced to e now star dollar what it's saying greater than we need to reduce what you need to reduce e star e is reduced to e now you are having e plus e whenever you see plus dollar always greater than means reduce to e e plus e should be reduced to e so if you are having non terminal forget about it dollar symbol dollar symbol accepted this is how operator precedence parsing works so here in our example we have not considered about equal to equal symbol in our next class we are going to do some uh, complex example regarding opera operator precedence parsing there you are going to get much clarity about opp hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you